Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program. In this brief program, we are going to talk about our master's degree program here at Respect Graduate School. My name is Hakan. I'm the chair of this uh, program, as well as uh, I'm one of the lecturers at, at Respect, Respect Graduate School. Uh, in this uh, program, we are going to have uh, some short videos to give you more inf information about our program. We have got some students, they're going to talk about their experience, and we got some other professors, they're going to talk about the courses they teach. Without any further ado, let's watch our brief introductory video. Earn a master's in Islamic studies with respect graduate school. In collaboration with the Islamic Sciences and Research Academy and Charles Stewart University, Respect Graduate School offers a master's program in Islamic studies, 100% online. With courses focusing on classical Islamic disciplines such as tafsir, hadith, fiqh, and kalam, our students immerse themselves in the subjects and provide comprehensive surveys of them with access to our highly experienced faculty and staff. Our program is fully online, so you can join from wherever you live in the world. We offer a traditional education in a modern setting, perfect for the busy lifestyles of today. You can study online at your own pace and enjoy the wealth of resources Respect has to offer, all at a very affordable price. For more information, please visit our website and enroll today. Respect to Graduate School, where knowledge becomes wisdom. Right, welcome back. Uh, up next is one of our students, Errol Dinchers. Uh, I'll invite him to the stage, imaginary stage. Errol will talk about his experience here at Respect Graduate School. Errol, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to, you know, to this video uh, to share my experiences and, and, and thoughts about the program. Um, you know, I, I had the benefit of, of being a respect graduate st uh, school student, uh, you know, and, and doing the mastery uh, or masters in, you know, Islamic studies uh, program. Uh, you know, I, for me, I really liked it because, you know, being, you know, born and raised in the West and trying to find a, you know, a program that matched what I was looking for, you know, like uh, Islamic studies, uh, that was more than just anthropological. And so what we, you know, what I got was an, a, a very unique experience. Uh, we, you know, we had classes from, his, you know, the concept of Islamic uh, law or fuq to the methodology of hadith to uh, Islamic spirituality and Quran, um, you know, and we didn't, you know, we, we got to explore different, uh, you know, and unique um, viewpoints, not just like the mainstream and really analyze them and dissect them, which was really beneficial for me in my academic career. Uh, at the same time, I really got to benefit from the library and the masjid uh, and, and then, you know, reach out to, you know, ISRA in, in Australia and benefit from the uh, partnership program that they have with ISRA and Charles Stewart University. So uh, for me, it was really positive uh, and still is a positive experience that uh, I, I feel very lucky to be a part of. Now I would like to invite Professor Halim Chalush. He's going to answer this crucial question. Why should you choose MA program on Islamic studies here at Respect Graduate School? Professor Chalush, floor is yours. Please explain to us why people should choose our institution. Hello everybody, Salam alaikum. Greetings from the Respect Graduate School. I am one of the professors, as my dear colleague, Dr. Hakan Gök said. I am also the Dean of Academics at Respect. Uh, I am not going to go into technical details of the MA in Islamic Studies program at Respect Graduate School today. In the past, we had a program about the technical details, such as program requirements, application process, and so on. You can find such information in the video we released 
in our YouTube channel. Today in this meeting, I want to highlight some exceptional benefits of our MA uh, in Islamic studies. Let me first share my screen. Why would it be the best option for those who are interested in MA in Islamic studies program? What are the good aspects and the benefits of the program? And why should you choose respect if you want to pursue an MA degree in Islamic studies? I can mention many reasons to answer these questions, but our time is limited. Therefore, I will highlight some uh, important points. First and foremost, from academic perspective, the curriculum in our MA program is excellent. It is a comprehensive and a well-balanced program. As you know, Islamic studies is a very large field. It is not possible to cover all aspects of Islamic studies in a two-year MA program. Therefore, Islamic studies educators need to be careful when designing their programs, when deciding what they will need to include or exclude. We, as the RESPECT faculty team, we have designed a comprehensive and through curriculum that will enable our students to become knowledgeable in many fields of Islamic studies uh, in uh, as little as two years. To program provides them with a broad knowledge in Islamic studies through introductory courses on the one hand, and it allows them to go deeper in concentration areas on the other. Also, our students become conversant with both critical and analytical approaches and traditional uh, approaches. Please check our curriculum uh, on our website and look at the rich course offerings and course descriptions. Please contact us for more information. Second point I want to emphasize is that our MA in Islamic studies is super convenient. It is fully online. It is totally online. Students can, can complete all the program requirements online at their own pace. We use a very efficient online student information system. You can follow everything about your study by connecting to this information system. You can join the classes. You can watch the recordings later. You can take exams. You can submit assignments. You can make payments. Everything is online. And this makes the study with us very, very convenient. Uh, however, I need to make something clear here. The class meetings are live meetings. You need to join the live class meetings at their scheduled times. This is important. This is very important because participation in class discussions is a very important component of the study. Students participate, ask questions, make comments, present their research and so on. Attendance is required and class engagement is highly uh, encouraged. As a matter of fact, class participation is one of the assessment items. Third, we have an excellent academic team. Our distinguished professors all hold PhDs from best universities, from prestigious universities, such as the University of Chicago, uh, University of Wisconsin, Temple University, Durham University, Indiana University, University of Lancaster, and so on. Our adjunct professors teach at reputable institutions, such as Columbia University, 
uh, Carthage College, Yakin Institute, Leeds University, and so on. Some of our professors will talk briefly about the program uh, and the courses they teach in a little while. By the way, Dr. Hakan Gök teaches a very popular subject in the program, uh, Essentials of Islamic Theology. He has strong background both in physics and philosophy, and students who take this course are always amazed and they feel blessed to have a chance to look at the Islamic faith from scientific and philosophical perspectives. I am hoping Dr. Hakan Gök will speak briefly about the course he teaches. Fourth, our MA program is very affordable. Please visit our website to see our uh, very reasonable prices. Tuition is affordable. In addition to that, you will not pay for textbooks because everything is accessible online. Uh, regarding the financial aspect of the study, I would like to make a very important announcement. Most of our students receive scholarship uh, from the Respect Graduate School. Please contact us for scholarship options. You can also submit your scholarship application on our uh, website. And finally, our MA program is globally accredited. As I explain in details in another YouTube video you can find in our YouTube channel, our students earn their master's degree and master's diploma from the Charles Sturt University of Australia. Our MA program is the outcome of the collaboration and, and, and partnership we have with the Charles Sturt University. Charles Sturt University is a big Australian university with more than 40,000 students. So MA diploma at the end of the study will be granted by this prestigious Australian university. I think these five reasons, among the other reasons, which I don't have time to mention here, will give you an idea about our program and about why our MA program would be the best option for you. I would like to conclude by saying something I always say, please contact us for more details. Visit our website and call us or email to us for more information. Thank you and Salaam Alaikum. Right, up next is Professor Selçuk Altıntaş. He is a lecturer on Islamic history. Uh, Selçuk Altıntaş sent us a brief uh, video. Uh, we're gonna show that video next. He is not joining us live. So let's see uh, and find out more about the course he teaches at uh, RGS next semester. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Salchuk. I am a temporary faculty here at Respect Graduate School, RGS. I'll be your instructor for RGS 383 Islamic History, the Caliphate Era. I teach this course every spring and it's going to be my third time teaching it in this upcoming semester. I'm so glad that you'll be joining me in this intellectual journey. In about 12 or 14 weeks, depending on the academic calendar, we will cover a vast amount of territory and a long history from the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the emergence of the first Islamic caliphates to the end of the caliphate era in the first quarter of the 20th century. One thing that I like most about this course is that it gives an opportunity to our students, most of whom are coming from an Islamic background, to re-evaluate their knowledge of the Islamic tradition in light of what they learn in class. In this regard, it might be quite challenging intellectually. 
In addition to that, students like to compare what's going on in the Islamic world and what happened in the past. It also gives them an opportunity to speculate on the future of the Islamic societies around the world, especially in the Middle East. One good thing about RGS in general, and this course in particular, is that you do not have to purchase textbooks. All the required readings are available in PDF form up at our learning platform, Populi. In this time of economic uncertainty, I think it would be another good reason to consider RGS and this course as well. Now, let's look at some of the topics that we will cover in this course. First, we will start with the death of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then the time of the four rightly guided caliphs, or the Rashidun. <clears throat> and then, we will move on to the great Muslim expansion and examine the first two Islamic caliphates or empires, the Umayyads and the Abbasids. Then we will shift the gears and look at the two external threats that the Islamic world had to confront, the Crusades from the West and the Mongol invasion from the East, and their short and long-term impact on the Islamic civilization and history. After that, we will look at the emergence of regional, regional powers or sultanates and especially the three gunpowder empires, the Ottomans in the west, the Mughals in the east, and the Safavids, the Persian Safavids in the middle. Among these three, we will pay, we will pay special attention to the rise and expansion of the, of the Ottoman Turks. What follows next is the increased presence of Europe and the efforts in the Islamic world to catch up with Europe, which is known as modernization or reform or Islamic revivalism. Towards the end of the semester, which also includes some of my favorite topics, we will look at the Western European colonialism in the Islamic lands and the rise of Islamic nationalism. And finally, we will wrap it up with the with Muslims' contribution to science and civilization. I'm sure it will be an enjoyable and fruitful journey for all of us. And again, thanks for joining me in this. Our next speaker is one of our current students, Selen Gülfidan. She has also sent us a video. Uh, she's going to talk about her expectations and experience at RGS. So let's watch her message. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Selen Gülfidan. I am an MA student in Islamic Studies program at Respect Graduate School. Firstly, I want to thank the Respect family that has been providing us a golden opportunity by offering a variety of online courses, both in English and Turkish, especially during the months of pandemic closures. And then I would like to talk about Masters in Islamic Studies program at Respect. This program has a comprehensive curriculum. We are given an opportunity to study important sources of Islamic studies written by prolific writers. The lecturers are all PhDs and they are experts in their fields. We do weekly readings, we write essays and papers, we make presentations, we take quizzes which help us to remember the topics we learned, and all of these improve our academic skills. In the program, there are the courses on classical Islamic disciplines such as Tafsir, Hadith, Fiqh and Kalam and the other courses on modern issues such as Islam in the modern world, Women in Islam. We can reach the lecturers and our advisors whenever we need to. They are extremely attentive and responsive. They help us in making progress in our studies. All of these make me feel blessed and I'm really grateful to be a respect student. Another important point that I want to mention is that besides academic satisfaction, I feel spiritual peacefulness at respect. Is it because of the sincerity of our professors or the peaceful environment or the main purpose of respect, which is Allah's pleasure? I don't know the reason, but I feel this spiritual peace and I'm sure that the other students also feel it. Again, I thank everyone who has given us this special opportunity. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm the last speaker of this uh, event. 
Uh, as you know, my name is Hakan. I'm a professor of uh, physics and philosophy, but I'll be teaching uh, some philosophy and theology in this semester. The course I offer uh, is my personal passion. Uh, you know, I switch from physics into theology, and these are my passionate subjects. Uh, it is going to be around 12 weeks, and the course is called RGS, Islamic Worldview and Theology. In this semester, we're going to be addressing some crucial uh, theological topics. For example, we are going to talk about the existence or non-existence of God, belief and disbelief. Uh, we are going to look into uh, certain religions uh, where monotheism is practiced. Uh, we're going to focus on Islamic uh, belief system in particular. Then we are going to gradually move into uh, theism and monotheism and tawhid, monotheism in Islamic context. We are going to look into uh, definition of God, names and attributes of God in Islam. So that is the subject of uh, one of the uh, sessions. Another issue we're gonna talk about, if there is a purpose in human existence, is everything as a result of a chance or is there a divine higher purpose? So the topic of uh, this lecture will be human nature, purpose of life and existence. I'm sure you all find this very interesting. Then we are going to do some uh, text analysis. We are going to focus on the Quran and we are going to look at the creation narrative. And we are going to compare the secular version and the Islamic version as it appears in the Quran. Then we are going to go into another inter interesting topic, which is angels and the unseen world. So I'm sure you'll be all, all fascinated with this. And uh, we are going to compare the Quran with other divine revelations in uh, one of the lectures. We are going to talk about the institution of prophethood. We are going to look into the prophets. And in particular, we're going to look at the prophet of Islam. Uh, uh, peace be upon him. In one of the lectures, we'll be talking about, is there a life after that? when we die is it the end or is there something beyond grave so the topic will be resurrection and life after that and we are going to talk about divine determining does god know everything or can we actually choose and decide our destiny so the topic is resurrection sorry divine determining that is qadr and human free will where do we stand in this relationship do we have will to decide our destiny? The last topic is ever popular. You will be loving it. It is suffering good and evil. It is theodicy in Islam. That is the problem of evil. Why is there pain and suffering? If there is a loving, caring God, why does he let everybody die and suffer and, you know, diseases like COVID and cancer or, or, or the others? So we're going to look at this problem of evil from an Islamic perspective and try to explain how Islam sees the existence of evil. So these are the topics uh, that are up and coming this next semester. And I think I don't want to bore you anymore. I will close it with this second interesting video we recorded. Enjoy the video. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see you all at Respect Graduate School. Goodbye. Earn a master's in Islamic studies with Respect Graduate School. In collaboration with the Islamic Sciences and Research Academy and Charles Stewart University, Respect Graduate School offers a master's program in Islamic studies 100% online. With courses focusing on classical Islamic disciplines such as tafsir, hadith, fiqh, and kalam, our students immerse themselves in the subjects and provide comprehensive surveys of them with access to our highly experienced faculty and staff. Our program is fully online so you can join from wherever you live in the world. 
we offer a traditional education in a modern setting, perfect for the busy lifestyles of today. You can study online at your own pace and enjoy the wealth of resources Respect has to offer, all at a very affordable price. For more information, please visit our website and enroll today. Respect Graduate School, where knowledge becomes wisdom.